Stable wall carbon fiber uses a unidirectional application pattern and is applied opposite of the crack direction. For this stair step cracks video, stable wall will be applied in a plus sign or crossing direction. Begin the installation by prepping your surface using a 4 inch to 6 inch diamond tip hand grinder to remove any paint from the wall where the carbon sheets will be placed. It is recommended to attach the grinder to a HEPA shop vac to minimize dust. Additional grinding of the wall will be necessary on a poured concrete foundation to ensure a more even surface. Premix Part A of the epoxy paste filler prior to adding it into Part B. Mix Part A using your paint stick for 50 to 60 stirs. Pour the epoxy paste filler B into epoxy paste filler A. Use an epoxy mixing paddle attached to a power drill and thoroughly blend parts A and B of the epoxy paste filler together for 45 to 60 seconds. The epoxy paste filler is ready when the mix turns completely gray. Fill in all the cracks, even those where you will not be placing stable wall. To create a smooth surface, you may apply the paste filler mix in the mortar joints of a concrete block wall where stable wall will be applied. On a poured concrete foundation, you must apply additional paste filler to ensure there are no deep ridges on the surface. This prevents the appearance of air bubbles and allows the carbon fiber to be flush with all areas of the wall. It is recommended but not required that you pre-mix part A of the primer. Stir the primer part A using a new paint stick for 50 to 60 stirs. Pour primer B into primer A. Use an epoxy mixing paddle attached to a power drill and thoroughly blend parts A and B of the primer together for 45 to 60 seconds. Note that the consistency will have a thick viscosity and will be tacky. The primer is ready when the color is amber. Pour the mix into your tray liner, then use your roller and roll the primer on the wall where you will be applying stable wall carbon fiber. Let the primer soak into the pores of the concrete for about 10 to 15 minutes. Pre-mix saturant part A prior to adding in part B. Mix part A using a new paint stick for 50 to 60 stirs. Be sure to scrape the sides of the bucket to ensure the resin is fully mixed. Pour saturant B into saturant A. Use an epoxy mixing paddle attached to a power drill and thoroughly blend parts A and B of the saturant together for 45 to 60 seconds. Pour the mix into your other tray. Then use a clean roller and roll an even coat onto the wall. Not too thick, but not too thin. You don't want the bonding to be dripping down the wall. Without waiting, Take your pre-cut carbon fiber sheet and press the sheet on the wall over the top of the bonding. Use your ribbed roller and roll from the center of the sheet of carbon fiber towards the edges, taking care to remove all air bubbles. You want the sheets to be flush with the wall and do not want air behind the carbon fiber sheet as that will compromise the strength. Make sure to use a fair amount of pressure when rolling out the air bubbles. Apply one last coat of bonding over the carbon fiber sheet and use the ribbed roller one more time to remove any other air bubbles. When applying the second fiber sheet, repeat the previous steps from fiber sheet one, including filling all cracks and mortar joints with paste filler, priming the area where the sheet will be installed, being careful to avoid rolling primer on the previously installed sheet, rolling your first coat of bonding over the primed area, and finally, placing and bonding the second fiber sheet over the first one in the crossing direction. When installing the crossing sheet, there is no preference for which direction is applied first. Curing time takes 24 to 48 hours. You are then free to paint over stable wall, making it virtually unnoticeable.